Hi guys, Coach Matt of the Hockey Players Club in Quest Hockey. Today we're going to work on tips and drills to improve your slap shot. Who doesn't love ripping an absolute cannon of a slap shot? Quinn Hughes turning the line. Long slap shot yeah. scores! Through traffic. Nice. Slap shots are by far the most powerful shot in the hockey arsenal. However, they're the least accurate and take the most amount of time. In order to unleash an absolute bomb of a slap shot, it's really important to flex your hockey stick and get the most flex out of your hockey stick. When you hit the puck on a slap shot, you actually hit the ice a little bit behind the puck and your top hand is out in front of the puck and your stick is flexed. And then because your stick wants to return to this straight position, uh, the force created is actually even more than if I just hit the puck. So the stick is flexed, and now it wants to whip back, and that, combined with my, my follow-through, is what gets the puck going and can actually rip a bomb. There are four stages to a slap shot. Uh, the wind-up is the first part where you pull your stick back to shoulder height or a little bit higher. Some guys like to pull a little bit higher. When you're doing that, you want to shift your weight and put your weight into your back foot, almost like a baseball uh, baseball player hitting a baseball, right? They load up on their back foot, or even a pitcher. They put everything they have on their back foot before driving to the plate. So all my weight back on my back foot with my lineup. That's that's the first part. And then the second part is the strike or the slap motion. So now I'm coming down and I will hit the ice two to five inches uh, behind the puck and leading with my top hand, which when I combine my force from my bottom hand down into the stick, that's what creates flex and whip that will then drive through the puck. So wind up, force down the slap. The third is I think the follow through and weight transfer. So you're gonna follow through, striking the puck, follow through, transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot, turn your, turn your hips and your shoulders, and then the last part is actually you're stand, staring down the barrel of the gun and pointing at the target. If you Google pictures of guys with the hardest slap shots in the NHL, you know, Shea Weber, um, Chara, you'll see how much flex they get out of their stick. And a lot of them finish only on their front foot when they're done. So all their body weight is on their back foot, and they're transferring that weight, exerting force to a point where when they finish and follow through, they're only on their front foot, right? They're finishing only on that, that front foot. And the back foot is actually up in the air. Because they gave everything they had uh, into that shot. I want you to work on those four uh, segments or parts of the slap shot without shooting. Pause for about a second at each, at each stage. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if, you can, if you're not in tennis shoes, you'll probably be able to balance and in that fourth stage you can finish on one foot. It's important to note on this wind up, you, you want to slide the bottom hand. Um, if you're starting here from a sitting in the position, you don't want to keep your hand in that same spot when you pull back. You want that hand to slide along the stick as you wind up, right? You turn your body. Now I'm cocked with all my weight on my back foot, and I'm going to drive down into the ice. So with a puck now. I like it off my front foot, um, just inside of my front foot, I would say right here. Let's just rip some puppies, see how it feels.
One of the things I don't like about the slap shot is how long it takes to get it off. So a good drill practice is just a classic drill. Line up a series of pucks and just fire slap shots as fast as you can. But during that moment where you pull the puck, pull your stick back and wind up, that puck is exposed. So if you're in a tight space, a defender can get a stick on it, poke check it away from you. Um, so you need some time and space in order to really use the slap shots. Um, and one thing to train is getting it off quicker so that you can employ it whenever uh, maybe guys are around here and you don't have a lot of time and space. So the quicker your wind up, uh, the more effective your slap shot can be. So line up some pucks and work on getting that, that first stage of the slap shot, the wind up, back quick, and then a quick follow through and see how quickly you can get your slap shots off. channel to stay up to date with more hockey training videos like this one.